Toledo Police Department tonight currently reviewing some of its officers actions after they shot and killed an armed suspect last week. Well, some are questioning their behavior seen on body and dash cam video. Our Michael Sandlin joining us live in studio with more Michael who's questioning it and what are some of the concerns right now? Jeff from officers shooting out of their own windshields during a high speed chase to more than 70 rounds fired at one man. Even Toledo Police Chief Mike Trenley says this was far from a typical shooting for their officers. We decided to get an outside take on the incident. Take a look. Lauren Bonds is the executive director of the National Police Accountability Project, a part of the National Lawyers Guild created to protect the human and civil rights of individuals in their encounters with law enforcement. We really focus on eliminating police violence by holding police accountable through civil rights uh, litigation. And after watching clips from Sunday's incident, moments like this left Bonds a bit surprised. I, I think the firing shots from inside the vehicle is, is pretty unusual. At that moment, the man the officers were chasing, 33-year-old murder suspect Albert Alderman, had just waved a gun at them. Bonds says police certainly have the right to open fire on suspects in dangerous situations like this one, but she says in this particular instance, there was more to consider. You are in a residential area. Um, if you're shooting through um, glass in your own vehicle, there's a really high chance that a bullet will ricochet and hit a bystander or another officer. Bonds called that moment a red flag. But what about the number of shots fired? According to TPD, Alderman was hit 35 times and 73 shots were fired. Bond says it's a large number, but there are scenarios where it makes sense. There could be a situation where the number of shots was um, reasonable if, if the gun was still being held and pointed. Which is the exact reason Toledo Police Chief Mike Trenley provided yesterday to the media. When he falls, he falls facing our officers with the gun still in his hand. So in total, with the four officers involved still under internal review, what does Bonds think should happen? I think it wouldn't necessarily be a situation where, you know, discipline uh, was recommended, but potentially additional training. So I would really say that like a, an ideal scenario would be in an acknowledgement of, you know, kind of ways that things could have been done better. We reached out to the spokesperson from TPD about what Bond said. He told me the chief was unavailable to respond. Now, right now, we have no timeline for when the police department's internal review will be complete, but once it's done, they still have to face the firearm review board. Right now, all four officers involved are back on duty after being on paid administrative leave for firing their weapons, which is standard procedure. In studio, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.